Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Demos Diecast. As promised in the last video, we have a small uh, kind of comparison slash share video here. Uh, we opened up some Elite 64s, the Daniel Arsham 930A, and the Convention Z in the last video. So today what I did was um, I brought out three of each. So I have my two other favorite uh, Elite 64s over here. I have two of my favorite 930s back here. And then I have two of my favorite the Nissan convention cars over here. So just kind of a little uh, show and tell kind of thing. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Of course, you guys saw the Audi RS7 last night. So we're not going to really review that one. I do want to show this uh, Toyota Chaser Elite 64. So this is a custom that was done by a really good friend of mine, Max Diecast on Instagram. I will leave a link to his page right over here. Uh, Max Diecast kills it on the slam game. Uh, this was before I really got into doing these myself. But as you can see, he has tucked these really large Advan TriStars up in there. Um, no wheel gap whatsoever super slammed and the most important thing is they do roll so yeah this one came out super dope got a little bit of poke on the front there like you would for a drift car this car actually came from mattel with camber so that was pretty sick but yeah um, this is by far one of my if not my favorite actually this would be my second favorite elite 64 the other one i'm going to show you um believe it or not blows this one out of the water which is pretty hard to do but uh, they did a really good job on this casting again i was not a fan of this when mattel showed it off however once my friends got some in hand and i was able to look at it in person uh, i made the decision that i had to go and grab a couple so you do have a small roll call down here on the side skirt. You got your Gretti, Motul, Advan, and Yokohama. So that is why I chose the Advan V2 TriStars to go on this casting. Super, super dope. Perfect fit. Um, really, really love it. You do have a cage up in here. You do have the race Halo race seat there. Of course, right-hand drive because it's a chaser. Um, base wasn't shaved too too much but a lot of work had to be done in order to get these to fit underneath the wheel well so shout out to max diecast uh he kills it on these there are some castings that are just a little bit more pricey per se um harder to obtain that i just trust him to do the work because he's done so many um and once again everything rolls so take a quick look at that one super super dope definitely one of my favorite cars in my collection let's move to the other elite 64 that we have out here which is going to be the lamborghini aventador with the liberty walk kit again this one was done by max diecast he absolutely killed this one um crazy got the gunmetal faced bbs lms with the polished lip red center caps dude so sick so so sick uh, so this casting is going to have the headlight decals so you've got water slide decals for the headlights but as i mentioned in the last video this is one of the other ones um no this does not come with lens tails this is going to be uh lens or decals water slide decals as well but look at that drop and once again everything rolls so super super sick this by far is my favorite elite 64 in my collection i do have a stock bodied um aventador liberty walk aventador elite 64 without a swap and once again let's place that guy down everything 
everything rolls. Everything rolls. So super happy to have that guy. Let's go ahead and look at our 930s. Of course, the Daniel um, Arsham 930A we pulled out yesterday. Let's take a look at this Matchbox. I can't remember if this was a Matchbox collector or a Matchbox moving parts. Uh, so this one I actually did myself. I got some gold work meisters on there. As you can see, slammed out, full roller. Uh, this one does actually have opening doors as well. So that's super cool. That's why I think this is a moving parts. I can't remember whether it was a moving parts or a, in the matchbox collector, the blue box. Uh, but good details on this one. Headlight details there. Got your Porsche emblem on the hood there. Uh, I guess it would be the trunk since it's a Porsche. But um, yeah, you got your 911 decal on the side. I think the color of the wheels just went perfect with this car and the stripes that run down the side. You got your rear um, 930 turbo badge, 930 whale tail, and Porsche writing in between the taillights there bumper pieces like we saw in the Daniel Arsham. Uh, this one does not have an exhaust coming out, so that's kind of strange, but no biggie. Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely one of my favorite 930s in my collection. Uh, this will this one rivals my Daniel Arsham only because of the work, obviously, and being lowered. So um, let's show that one off. Roller. Super dope. The other 930 is going to be the yellow 930 from the Boulevard set. I did lower this one as well. This is um, one I did myself. This one has the Turbo Max on it. So super, super sick wheel. Um, again, full roller. This one did have to have quite a bit shaved out in order to get it that low, but no regrets there. Um, this casting, super, super clean. Love it. Um, again, you got your whale tail. Porsche writing in the tail light, bumper, black rear bumper pieces. This one does have the exhaust like the Arsham. A little bit of shaving that I had to do on this one. Got the screws. It's been tapped and redrilled. The front, you do have the fog lights. You have your turn signals and then a little bit of paint to make it look like texture on the headlights. Porsche emblem on the hood. This casting is super dope. Um, was super happy to be able to score these at Walmart without having to pay resale on them. Uh, they're one of the hardest boulevards probably to find, at least recent boulevards. And once again, everything rolls. So super happy to have that one. Let's take a look. We looked at our Z last night. We opened that guy up. Super happy with that. So I've got a couple other Nissan conventions here. Um, would I say these two are my favorite? Probably. Um, I do have the yellow R34 convention. I will save that car for a later comparison. Maybe when a, the next R34 RLC comes out, we'll take a look at that one a little bit more closely. Um, if that's one that you've been maybe having your eye on, kind of debating with, should I sell off a bunch of stuff to pick that one car up? We'll do a video. We'll review that car so that those of you who may not have it um, can get an actual close-up look and make a good educated decision rather than just knowing that it's it's a really high-end sought-after piece um, and thinking it's going to be exactly like the other R34 RLCs that have released. So first, let's take a look at our Nissan hard body. This was from 34th Annual uh, Collector's Convention. Took place in Los Angeles, California, October 7th through 11th in 2020. So super, super dope. This guy is slammed out. I did not have to do any work to this one. This is how this comes. Um, all the Nissan hard, hard bodies are super slammed like that. Uh, so you've got your Chrome 5 spokes. Um, some print on the side here. Goodyear print there on the back. You've got good headlight uh, decals, turn signals. Uh, Robles is the designer. Um, I want to say he designed... If not the convention car itself, he designed this casting, uh, but I'm almost positive that that's the last name of the uh, designer who did the truck. Uh, so super cool. Got a couple compressors in the back painted blue and red. Obviously, anytime you would get something this low, it would be bagged out, slammed out. 
Interior, not too crazy. Just a plain red interior. Nothing serious in there, but I do love this one. Um, I picked this up loose. I did not ever have it carded. But if I could find it for the right price one day, I probably would get a carded one. So super, super cool convention piece here. I love this guy. So and then the last one that we'll take a look at is going to be the orange Hako. So this one is super sick. Let's take a look at that rear spoiler. This was from uh, 36th Annual Collector's Convention. This was also in L.A., California. October, what is that, 6th through the 9th in 2022, so two years ago. This one's a really, really nice one. I do have two of these. I have one carded and I have one loose. You've got your black Wantanabis with the polished lip. Super nice wheel on this. Love it. That orange paint is amazing. You can see the pearl and the flake in there. Um, not too crazy interior detail on this one either. You do get a carbon fiber hood on this one, so that's pretty sick. Um, the print is not the greatest, but again, we're talking about Hot Wheels, so it's more or less the idea rather than the execution. Um, painted headlights, GTR emblem in the front grill, Skyline front plate. Take a look at this side. You got your Hot Wheels logo back there. Of course, we looked at the convention information on the wing. And then on the tail lights, you have nice red tails outlined in silver. Skyline license plate. Nice exhaust coming out the back. Super dope on this one. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite. Let's see. Let's take a look at that. Oh, Skyline. So you've got your Skyline wording and your Skyline badge there. This one also has mirrors on it. So that's super cool. Um, definitely one of my favorite, uh, convention cards that I have. So super lucky and super happy to have this one loose and carded. Um, can't go wrong with that guy. If you're looking for it, uh, prices are coming down on this one. So they're becoming more affordable by the day. Maybe hold out a little bit more. We'll see if it goes back up or not. So throw that guy over there and yeah. So today's video, short, sweet, to the point, just kind of wanted to share some other examples, like I said, of the Elite 64s that I have on hand, some other 930s that I have, and then some other Nissan convention cars. So all in all, super happy with the pickups from the convention itself, and then also just ecstatic to add them to um, the other cars that I already have here that I was already in love with. So thanks for tuning in today, guys. And uh, we'll be back um, tomorrow with another video. We'll be cracking more stuff that we got from the Diecast Convention. And we're just going to keep moving through it until we get it all opened up, get it all displayed and put into the cases. So thanks again for tuning in, everybody. We appreciate it. Have a great evening and a great rest of your week. Happy hunting and good luck if you're out there looking for anything. Those new boulevards are hitting Walmart. So be sure to check your Walmart for those. And, um, yeah, just stay on it. So. Everybody have a great rest of your week. Peace out. One love.